Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video we're going to be making is showing you how to remotely check to see if the iPhone that you're going to purchase, potentially purchase on eBay or Amazon, is connected to an iCloud account, which you guys have probably heard the horror stories about people buying on eBay, and unfortunately when they receive it, they can't connect it, they can't restore it because it is connected to an iCloud account. Locate my iPhone is on, which means that you're just stuck in the menu. Now there are ways to get around that. You'll have to check on YouTube for some people that have gotten really creative, shocking the phone, going to FaceTime, finding the ID and the password there, and then getting into the phone that way. But if you do have a bricked iCloud account activated password and you can't get in and the previous owner doesn't know it, unfortunately you'll have the phone just pretty much for parts. You can scrap it for battery, LCD, etc. But let's uh, get back into the video real quickly here. So what we're going to do here is, you know, normal iPhone 6s for sale. Now, if you know what you're doing and you're experiencing this, you can actually score a phone for pretty cheap. I'm going to click on over to an auction that's currently going on as of right now. As we see here, we see an Apple iPhone 6 Gold smartphone, and it is going for $179. It's about 14, 15 hours left on it and there's only one bid. Now I could potentially get this phone for probably under $300. Now normally this phone would probably go in the you know, low fives, whatnot, maybe if you get a good deal, maybe high fours if you're lucky. And I don't really know if this is a 16 gig, but most likely it is. Now what we're gonna do here is before you purchase this on eBay, no matter if he says it's legit, she says it's legit, ask them for the IMEI number or serial number. Now, if they don't provide it and you feel a little bit sketched about it, bail on it, find another phone to buy. But you need the serial number or IMEI number for this process. Now, what we're going to do here is this person right here in the description box has provided the IMEI number in the description box. So let's go down to that description box and take a look. So let's scroll down. All right, so now we're scrolled down here, and let's read this over real quickly. It includes the charger, the model number, etc. The telephone password is locked. Okay, so pretty much this is an AT&T phone. Here's the IMEI number, and where is my iPhone is on. So if I were to buy this and it were to ship it to me, I would activate it, restore it, and I would be stuck on iCloud password. Now, he does say that he has the Apple ID, but he probably forgot his password. So I would be stuck on that screen. So let's go ahead and check to see if this phone is currently iCloud activated, which pretty much he says, you know, if you don't understand all this Moa Jumbo, this is an easy way to understand it. So again, I have the IMEI number blocked out because potentially I don't want someone else, if I don't buy this phone, I don't want someone else uh, having trouble with their IMEI number. This is again for security, so it's blacked out, but all you do is you ask for it, and then so what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight that, we're going to copy that, and then we're going to come over to a website. In the search bar, we're going to do iCloud. Activation lock right here, the top one right here. Google search, iCloud activation lock. It's the top one, iCloud.com activation lock. We're going to click on that. All right, right here. So now this is where you would input the serial number or IMEI number. Again, I'm going to have this blacked out for security. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And then down here, you're going to have to enter the security code in here. So this current one is UFUD9. And we're going to go ahead and push continue. But as you can see here, it is the iPhone 6. The IMEI number matches the one from eBay. And this is the current time. And they are very quick on this. So if you were to purchase this and they were to activate it in route, you could actually find this out. So you could be checking on this, you know, and if you buy it on eBay, you can always ask for a refund or get eBay to step in and, and get a refund for it. And, um, you know, they'll take care of you in all cases, hopefully. So as we can see right now, this says activation lock is on. So if I were to buy this phone, I would not be able to access the phone because the iCloud account is activated and where is my iPhone is currently on. So this phone would be good for only parts. All right, guys, now this is where it gets tricky. There are other videos on YouTube that explain how to bypass that 
shock the phone, etc., like I mentioned earlier. So there are ways to get in. You just have to watch every video on YouTube. And until I figure it out myself, unfortunately, I can't help you with that. But this is a video showing you how to check it remotely so you don't get in trouble by buying a phone that's just going to sit in just a bricked iPhone for parts. So hopefully this video has helped you guys figure out how to remotely check to see if the iPhone is iCloud activated. You guys have a great night. And if I do figure out a way to how to shock the phone and activate it, if I purchase this phone, I will let you know. You guys have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye.